see how we're doing. Okay, so that one was fairly easy. Let's look at the second one. Okay, the second one, we don't have a right angle, so we don't know that's tangent, but we do know that this is a radius. And if this is a radius, then we can draw in our right angle, so now we know that segment is tangent. Okay, so that was one of the rules from the last unit you know, about tangents and radius in the circle. So now let's apply our rule. We have a secant. And what's the rule for secant? So get out your sheet. Let's reference it. It's exterior times the whole thing. So we're going to add the two parts to get the whole thing. So outside times whole. So let's look at this one. We've got 6. And then the whole secant segment would be 6 plus 8. So I'm going to take 6 times 6 plus 8 equals, or 6 times 14, equals our tangent squared. Okay, so grab your calculator if you're not sure. I think that's 84, isn't it? 6 times 14. Yeah, 84. 84 equals x squared, and then we have to take the square root of both sides. So that's going to be 4 times 21, which is 2 root 21. And that is the value of x, or the length of our tangent up here. Okay? So there are the first two. Now let's look at the next one. The next one got a little confusing for my students this year. They were having a hard time with those little boxes. So let me explain what those are. Okay, this three is the outside segment. Okay, so just look at this rectangle instead of as a rectangle. Look at it as connecting secant segments. Okay, so the outside is three. And then this whole rectangle, this whole side is eight. Which means the entire length of the secant segment is eight. So we don't need to add anything together on this one. We're just going to take 3 times 8. So 3 times 8 is equal to, and then this one is 2 on the outside. So my outside part is 2, and the whole secant segment on this side is x. Okay, so there, I don't have to add 2 and x because x represents the whole length here. Okay, so I get 24 equals 2x, so x is 12. There we go. So that's how you do that one. Okay, let's look at number four. Number four, we've got two secants. So outside times the whole thing, outside times the whole thing. So let's see if we can set this up. The outside is three, the inside is x, but we need the whole thing. So this one we do need to add together, don't we? So we're going to take x plus 3 because x only represents the inside. And then this one's 2. And then the whole secant segment is 2 plus 13 or 15. Okay, so I have my equation set up. Now let's distribute 3x plus 9 equals 30. So 3x equals 21, so x is 7. So there we go. So that's how you would solve this one. Okay, so I want you to see the difference between representing the whole secant segment and just the interior or the exterior. Okay, so let's move on to number five. Okay, five has a combination. Five, we know that four is the outside, but x is the entire secant segment, so we don't need to add. So for this side over here, we're going to take four times x, because x represents this whole side, which is the whole secant segment. But the other side is 3, and then 9 is the inside part. So let's think about that. We're going to have to take 3 times the whole secant segment. So we're going to have to add those together to 12. So I'm going to get 4x equals 36, so x is 9. So this entire secant segment is 9. Okay, if we needed to know the inside, we could take 9 minus 4 and get 5. That's if we needed that, but that's how you would do it. Okay, let's look at number 6. Number 6, let's see. We have only the parts, so we're going to have to do some adding on this one. Okay, so we've got 4 for an outside, and the whole secant segment is 12. 
and the outside on this one is x and then the whole thing is going to be 2 plus x or x plus 2. I like to put my variable first. Okay, so I'm going to write it as x plus 2. Now watch what happens on this one. Because we don't know the outside, it's going to make it a little bit messier. So we're going to get 48 equals x times x is x squared. x times 2 is plus 2x. Hmm. This isn't quite so simple anymore. We now have a quadratic. So what do you do with quadratics to solve them? You get them in descending order and factor. Okay, so let's get this in descending order. We got x squared plus 2x, and I'm going to bring this 48 over and make it negative 48 is equal to 0. Okay, now we got to factor it. Do you remember trinomial factors? Okay, what multiplies to 48? That has a difference of 2. Hmm, what factors multiply to 48 but have a difference of 2? And that's 6 and 8. Okay, we need the combination to add to a positive 2. So that means it's got to be a negative 6 and a positive 8. Okay, now we still haven't finished. We've got it factored, but we need to know the solutions. So let's go back and set each binomial equal to 0. So when is 6 or x minus 6 equal to 0? When x is a positive 6. When is x plus 8 equal to 0? And that's when x is negative 8. Okay, which one do we need to throw out? Or do we need to throw out any? Go back and plug in. This length is x. Can x be negative 8? No. x can only be a positive number. So the only solution for this one is 6. Okay? So we have to do a little factoring now. Okay. So let's see what we can do with this one. Okay? We have a tangent. Let's draw a right angle in right here. Okay, and then we have a secant. So we have the outside is 8 and the whole is x. Oh, this one may not be too bad. Okay, so we're going to take our secant segment and we're going to square it. And we're going to set it equal to the outside, which is 8, times the whole. No adding to do on this one because x represents the whole. So 16 squared is 256 is equal to 8x. Okay, this one's not a quadratic, so it makes it a little easier. So x is 32. Okay, so that whole secant segment is 32. And there we go. Okay, so that one wasn't too bad of a problem. Now let's look at number 8. Hmm, 8 looks kind of involved, doesn't it? Because we've got that x plus 2. Well, don't let it scare you, though. Let's just set them up, follow the rules. Okay, we've got our tangent again. So we are going to take that tangent and we're going to square it. And we're going to set it equal to the exterior, which is 14, times the whole part. Well, x plus 2 is just the inside. So all we're going to do is x plus 2 plus 14. x plus 2 plus 14. Well, that's not so bad. That's just x plus 16, right? So this is going to be 256 